Hello everybody. Yeah. Why can't I find my seatbelt right now? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Welcome to the law. This is how we starting it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, I'm hungry. And it is a beautiful day outside. So I may get myself together because this is me with the wrap just off my head and put sunglasses on and some sweatpants hungry craving something I'm craving a chicken sandwich and some fries so I'm gonna be going to get that but later on I may you know try and get myself like I said together and head towards the water. I'm not entirely sure because I feel like it's, I'm very lethargic today. It's just because it's the long weekend and I feel like, especially with work, literally I have been going full force it's been like a increased season for some reason it came out of nowhere so and i just my mind and my body is following now like mind you to me your mind shuts down before your body does especially when you are exhausted and I feel like now, and it may be different when I get some food in my system, but it's just like, girl, you deserve a little rest. Mind you, I have a day of rest every week. I try and dedicate, you know, the time and everything. However, when you need a little bit more extra rest, that's what I like to do. Let me go get some food and we'll see what goes on the rest of the day. Come on. So I decided to take a walk because I told myself that I needed to do it every day. Regardless of my body being tired, you gotta do it when you're tired, you gotta do it when you're mad, you gotta do it when you're sad, all that, right? So, that's what I'm doing. It's not gonna be a long walk like I used to because I do wanna just head back home and probably rest for the rest of the day. But you know me, I change my mind very often, <laughs> especially when it's the weekend and I have more free time so we will see but this is a different path it's you see it like when I first started the channel when I was walking and so on so Jesus see another I ain't got no perfume on nothing but but I just want to attack but anyway yeah enjoy Cause whoever's a wolf out here <sighs> trying to act like a sheep now mind you don't get my words twisted there are some times where you got a knuck in your buck in the society 
You know what I'm saying? But, as the word says, you gotta be harmless like a duck. You know what I'm saying? There's a time and place for everything. But don't get twisted with these wolves in these cheap clothes. You know what I'm saying? You can't be out here deceived and whatnot. It's 2023. We have zero time for that. You know what I mean? So, I walked past that. I said, oh, it's a mother-loving word. And I see stuff like that often. I just don't typically point it out. But that has been my life pretty much. I'm able to see a lot of stuff that people <laughs> normally don't, you know. And I think that's just on a spiritual level as well. Which is alright with me. Because there are some that got the gift and some that don't. So if you get it, as the people say, you know, those that get it, get it. Those that don't, just don't. Keep pushing. You know what I mean? But I'm talking to you. Do you got it? You. Okay? Because I know whatever talents, whatever skills that was bestowed upon you. Just like I'm walking when I didn't want to. I'm going to need you. Okay? You. To get your butt up. And do what you were called to do. Even if you're in a season of you're not fully noticing or knowing your purpose. That's fine. I was lost too at some point. It is what it is. It's something that you have to go through in life. But what you do from that purpose, go full force with it. And even so, people are lucky because I know for myself, I have multiple purposes. You know what I mean? I'm just putting that out there because if you have, if you think you have one purpose in life or multiple, no matter what spectrum you are on with that, get up and do it. Okay? I'm going to need, again, you. <laughs> to get up and do it okay even so just use me as an example right I'm an author I'm educated I'm a candle maker I buy sell and trade things you know what I mean so whatever I put my mind to I'm gonna do it especially in a creative sense so just get up and do it and I'm recording this for me as well because there are some times where I'm real down and hard on myself. But I need to understand that whatever I was told by God that I was supposed to be doing, even if it takes me several years. I've done stuff for several years and just started seeing perks of certain things. And even so, back then, it wasn't very purposeful, you know, the peaks that I received. It was all intellectual. That's cool. But, you know, like I said before, I chose my sanity over anything else. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to have my peaks now with my sanity. I'm, not, I'm having both. I don't care what nobody say. I'm having both. I'm not picking or choosing no more. I'm going to get what I desire in life. And I'm going to be, you know, mentally strong and spiritually strong while at it. So let's get up. Of course, after you watch this video. <laughs> then get up. And let's get going. Let's do what we got to do. Do you see the glisten? Stash, the sweat stash, child. Even my palms are sweaty. Your mom's spaghetti. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. When I tell you this, it's hot. It's hot. But you gotta do it anyway. You gotta do it regardless. 
when I, when, in that regard, when I say you, I mean me. Because y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do. But for me, we, 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 we not finna be looking sloppy out here. No. It's about 2.15ish. Probably gonna go home, settle down for a second. Uh, because of this heat, I don't know if it's healthy for me to even be outside anymore for the rest of the day. But, you know me, like I said, I may change my mind. So, per usual, come on. I'm trying to figure out why this place is so daggone. Let me roll up the windows because seems like mosquitoes want to come in here, so that's fun. Y'all are about day. Once I get my situation. Anyway, this place is dark. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Sometime soon. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> it's like I can't do nothing without being interrupted with bugs. What, what is this season? What is going on? Matter of fact, let me get my... Do I even got anything to clean this now? Because it's going to bother me. Hold on. Hold, please. It's real ratchet of me to just say I'm just going. Unbothered. Mind you, I don't know. Yeah, because if there were more, then they would have been attracted to the light. But anyway, what was my premise of even turning on this camera? Oh, you see how dark this area is? Now, mind you, I understand that <laughs> in certain places that aren't city-like. Mind you, this is a city. I don't get it. But anyway, people be closing at 7 p.m. on a Sunday, even when it's like a longer weekend or something like that. I don't understand. Mind you, I didn't even expect it to be still this warm out. So, I was like, let me put on long sleeves so I could pick up this order because I wanted to have some stuff. Is that on the inside too, child? No. Okay, it's all on the outside. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's real dark. I don't, I don't really like that. But yeah, this is going to be the end of my day. And just have a rest day. So, of course, the vlog is going to continue. Um, in the next couple days and so on see what I get into so I'm gonna say good night for now oh they live in here wait a minute 
Do you hear the music? Ding ding. Ding ding. Why do you look at me like that? decided to take my head wrap off for a moment because it's hitting 1 30 in the morning but this is my life at times um, where I can't sleep whether it be a lot of things on my mind could be you know various reasons right so, as you guys have already, like, noticed, and what I've been letting you guys in on is, you know, dealing with things that, you know, bring me comfort that isn't the most healthiest, and just trying to make myself feel better and the best I can before this upcoming trip which it should be the next vlog I'm pretty sure it's gonna be uh, like <laughs> when I tell you these the I call them withdrawal symptoms like I have a very froggy foggy mind I have been very irritable for the past few days and other things are equating to my irritation but I just wanted to come on here real quick because you know me I like to sprinkle either a little motivation or just realistic stuff in my content so um It's just a balance with a lot of stuff and it gets to a point where you kind of feel, and I'm just speaking personal feelings right now, where I feel like no matter how clear my intentions are, no matter how much I try and communicate what I need just in general it's just like as you could probably hear my voice it's like going out because I'm not trying to choke up <laughs> but it's just really difficult at times to always be the person that needs to figure it out on their own per se because you don't want to I don't want to say be a burden to anybody because I don't feel like a burden to people because it is healthy to communicate your truth and what you're experiencing and your feelings so I'm, I'm always going to be an advocate for that and that's another reason why I do these vlogs as well because there are moments like this where I need to get stuff out off of my chest that is with my irritability I need to keep myself accountable for things because my tolerance for things just in general are getting shorter so it's a balance between what my negotiables and my non-negotiables are and I'm equating this to you know my irritability with my withdrawal sy symptoms but what's keeping me up is just how you know life even though the things that can be prevented and you're allowing other people to be in your space not everybody's gonna think like you so when I when I am 
going through certain things and there is it 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 seems like there's no accountability or support within people anymore and I already know the word says people will wax cold I get that it's just living in real life it's just <laughs> it's not the easiest thing so on top of me realizing the type of world we are living in and on top of me facing things that you know and right now I'm just talking specifically with my withdrawal symptoms like it is irritating that I have the foggy brain at times or I don't get to have the comfort that I'm used to getting or the dopamine hits that I'm used to getting when it comes to snacking like to me that's like that's irritating me because like why am I getting that with snacks but I'm not getting it elsewhere you know all the good jazz <laughs> that's my biggest irritation in the last couple of days have been kind of rough on me but hopefully you know my mind can be occupied with either work again or just some good news somehow I don't know but that's just how life is especially when you're choosing to actively even though you some days again you I mean me you just want to have comfort <laughs> In a world full of chaos, you just want a little bit of comfort, but it seems that you gotta pull teeth some days to make it happen. And some days are more easier than others, but these last, these last couple days have been like pulling teeth for me. It's been rough, but thank y'all for listening. Because with my foggy brain right now, I don't even know if I'm making sense. But I'd rather just be in real time. Just letting people know that real life stuff happens. And emotions, especially within women, can be heightened at times. And especially with growth, because I'm still on a growing, growing? I'm still on a growing and healing journey. And just an added on component of trying to uh, purge myself and detox myself from my usual comfort habits. It's making me uncomfortable trying to find my job. I have, you know, several positive things that I can do and am doing. In order to try and rebuild certain things. But, you know, it, you get knocked down, you get back up sort of thing. So that's what I'm facing now. And it's just, it would be helpful to, you know, have a support system. You guys are my support system. Well, online that is <laughs> I'm just talking um, physically It's it, it would be nice if I could you know eventually gain that but it's not in the cards right now I guess so I'm going to keep pushing but I'm going to try after getting that off my chest I'm going to try and lay down with Knowing me, it's not going to be a 
I could be using. And me knowing that I have to have a clear mind for the work that I do is just, it's frustrating. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Hopefully, God willing, tomorrow is a better day. Good night, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am T minus three days away from my weekend getaway. And... I feel all right today. It's already hot out. It's supposed to be another hot day, so the walk may be a little bit more difficult today, but I still got to do it. When it comes to progress with me seeing results with my walks, it for me it doesn't you know take a lot uh, for me to start to feel comfortable again. So I am liking my results and this morning I'm gonna probably read a chapter of the good book because I always keep that thing on me I sure do work car home it it's always on me so probably gonna reset myself by doing that um, see what the work day slash work week goes and then I will be on my way to my trip and I, I don't know probably because last night I was so like bogged down like I'm climbing back out of the nonsense you know the irritation so it may take me today to get back into good spirits, but that's why I'm going to read this morning because I need some uplifting words. So I'm going to do that and then I will probably see y'all on a walking trail, maybe, but I've already been recording what I've been doing with that. So. We'll see. I do need to um, get more hair stuff, hair product too. So I may have to go to a store to get some more because I'm in a transitional phase too with that. I used to, you know, for me, my hair can only stand certain products for so long. And then I need to switch. So I'm in that season of trying to find new products that my hair agrees with. Stupid. It's just like my skin too. I can't have just one regimen. Like I, I either turn allergic to something or something isn't as potent anymore. And it just doesn't work out. And it's just the weirdest thing. And I'd be over it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Keep the hair healthy. Keep the skin as healthy as you can. All that good jazz so may do that within the next couple days too so do y'all want a haul if i do get some stuff mm, we'll see yeah y'all this is gonna have to be a real slow pace and short walk because mm -mm. like mind you i ain't no weak female you know but i just know understanding you know certain things by myself right now so I I ain't got time to be passing out on a trail so when I get back home I'll do a little haul because I did buy some new stuff for the trip like hygiene stuff and skin scare skin scare yeah the skin can get scary sometimes skin care <laughs> products so, and I don't know why my voice, ever since last night, my voice like went out when I told you guys, it felt like I was, you know, choking up talking to you guys. 
disrespectful and subordinate, I'm gonna need my voice to come back. Okay? So let me go do my thing with this walk and then head home for this haul. Real quick, I feel like this is me, surrounded by a whole bunch of shrubbery. But, looking real nice in the midst of it all. <laughs> um, let me stop. <laughs> but no, for real though, do you feel that way sometimes? It's just like, I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of twigs, weeds, dryness. And then you the person that just be straight up blooming. Like, why am I the only one in this month garden blooming? Chow. And you already see the glistening. I'm about to be tan as all get out for this weekend away. And I'm here for it. Okay. It's too hard to be walking and talking. Bye. I had to put the air on today, golly. And the walk was 15 minutes shorter than what I'm used to. When I tell y'all, this walk was no joke. And I wasn't even planning to walk as long as I did. But apparently I just zone out. But yeah, your girl is hot. Look at the, look, look at the neck sweat, child. I had to pour water on myself and everything. Okay, let me go home, relax for a second, and then do this store haul for you guys because I bought things for, you know, my trip to some new hygiene things and some skincare situations. So I'm about to do that after I make myself presentable again, <laughs> and we'll go from there. I had to take my hair out too because it has to be washed day. Because what? Ugh. So I figured I'd just do like a hygiene pack already because I'm I don't want to use these products until I'm out the trip. So the first item I got was some loofahs because the one that I have now is broken and I don't like to carry the one that I have on a daily basis. On my trip so i always pack a secondary one hello i'm gonna try um cantu isn't a new brand for me i've used it before but this is their avocado if i can see that uh repair leave-in cream and then one cream just doesn't do enough for this <laughs> So, I got the Matching Hydrating Curling Cream. And we got a Smell Good 25-8, okay, on the body with the perfume, with the body wash, etc., etc. Mind you, this is my tried and true, right? The Method Body Pure Peace one. This is nothing new to me either. However, I wanted it for the trip vibes because I don't know if it's the air in that area or whatnot, but it just makes my body smell fantastic, unlike the stale air, air here. Anyway, secondary, I got, just because it smelled really good and it says it's relaxing, so this is the Caress Black Orchid and Patchouli Oil Body Wash. I may use it as a bowl bath, but I already have some here too. And body scrubs, this one, if y'all can locate this, this one, I get it at my local um, Big Lots. Listen to me. Good. Good. What can I say? Okay. And I got just some serum because the humidity may be a lot down there. But yeah, that's it. So I'm going to pack 
my toiletry bag, get showered up, braid this hair back on up, child. And I'm gonna call it a night. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I'm about to wrap this vlog up. However, I did want to show you kind of like my packing system. Usually it can be like this 75% mm, of the time, but it's just because I pack certain things every time. But I'll explain it all. But mind you, yes, you see it? Don't judge me. <laughs> judge me. Because I, like I said, I pack certain things. So again, I will explain it. But yeah, I'm only going away for technically three days, two nights. Let me show you. So as you see to the left, that is my sound bar. That is not coming with me. <laughs> it's just in my living space. So this black bag here is where I pack all of my toiletries and stuff like that. It does look bulky because I have jars and all of that, etc. But it's not as many products as one would think. This bag, it has wine bottles which I only usually take with this specific weekend trip because I've been going this will be I think my seventh or eighth type I want to say so it has also just other miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to put in my main compartment eventually I just put it in here because I know I don't want to forget it so it's going to be collectively around my suitcase with this suitcase okay you see the purses, my steamer, some bathing suits, my clothes slash dresses and pajamas, and then my shoes. Now, mind you, don't get it twisted, okay? Underneath all of this, underneath that layer is, like on this side, is a bedding set, and then this side are pillows. I pack them because I have found more recently when I lodge that I actually am, can be allergic to certain detergents that either the places use, whatever the case may be. So I have to carry my own bedding. Well, I don't have to, but just so I can have ultimate comfort, that's what I do. And then with my own pillows, etc., etc. So that's why it is looking very thick because if I didn't have the pillows, if I didn't have the bedding, all of the stuff that are in, in these remaining bags would comfortably fit in here without overstuffing it. Like literally this top layer, because there's two purses here, one purse there, the steamer with the box and my clothing, literally it would be sunken because this suitcase is really steep, like it, like the volume of it. So I could fit without the bedding and stuff like that. I could fit easily two to two and a half weeks, maybe even three weeks of luggage items in it. So that's the only reason why it looks this bulky, but I like to be organized. I'm just so excited. I think I packed, when did I pack this? Monday? No, last Thursday, something like that. Almost like a week in advance because I already knew what I wanted to pick out. I bought certain clothes for the trip, et cetera, et cetera. I am just ready to just be in a tub somewhere because I don't have the luxury of having, you know, somewhere that I can soak often. I'm ready to walk the areas. I'm ready to shop. I'm ready to do all of the things. Now, I wish I could stay away for, you know, two and a half weeks. I wish I could do it more often. So this is why I go full out nowadays because I don't have the luxury anymore to be able to travel as much as I was used to just on a financial tip. Yeah, this is the thing I'm going to, oh, almost forgot. While I'm there too, I'm also on the hunt for a necklace. Like I've completely fell in love with 
these certain necklaces now mind you i did show these i believe in one of my vlogs back in april so this one does need a little cleaning i'm noticing on camera but you know this is more like a winter necklace so you usually can't really tell because you know it gets dark at 3 30 <laughs> but this was the second time i was there i believe and then this one was my very first that i'm about to show you it's beach glass and stuff like that so very pretty and i haven't been able to find one quite like this that you know makes me want to buy a similar style but i just i do love the stone this one is usually my summer one but then I showed this one too that I'm gonna take with me. It's this one. It's a hummingbird necklace. So this one has, you know, been not worn as much as you saw I wore it the other day, but I believe it was so pretty and it is pretty hefty and I just didn't want it to tarnish and things like that. It shouldn't tarnish. Um, but to me, it's just, you know, with weather and oils and all that, it's just, it's too pretty to ruin. But I am going to wear it this trip, and hopefully I can get one that's kind of for the fall, like maybe if they have a shape of a leaf, or, I don't know, maybe, maybe a deer, uh, I don't know, but you you'll know the fall vibes and especially i'll know the fall vibes when i see it so hopefully they have those out in this area but this is a kind of a thing that i do every time i'm there on an annual basis so i'm going to pack the beach glass one and my hummingbird one for sure so that is it for the vlog everybody and until the next one Take care.